What's up, Gaming Nation? We are back with another episode of Seven Days to Die. I'm Game, and we are back on day five of our Play Till You Die series. Right now, just showing you guys what I was doing over the night last night. We built up the bunker just a little bit, gave it a few extra walls, and built a forge, which is really going to help in making our materials for our base and starting to make repair kits and all the other good things. We built a ladder in the bunker just because I'm sick and tired of having to nerd pull my way up and down it every day, and that's going to make it a little bit easier to get up and down for sure. Today we are going to start working on our base, so stay tuned and let me know what you guys think. So one thing that we want to work on today is building our base. It is day five, which means we have two days to get this completed. And to be honest, we should be able to fly through it pretty relatively good. Uh, it's going to take probably all day today to build the base just because we have chosen a monster of a base, the Working Stiffs actual department store, whatever you want to call it. It's a big store. And we are going to do a little bit of cheesing the AI, which again, just means making it to where we can control where the Zeds, the zombies, where they're gonna go. And what we wanna do is I want to wrap a incline wall all the way around the sides and the back of the building. What that's gonna do is it's gonna allow the Zeds to come in to us. Essentially, they're going to come into the front. If they come to the back or the sides, they're going to try to walk up the wall. They're not going to be able to get up the wall. And they're going to either keep jumping on the wall for 10 minutes until they give up and walk away or come around. Or they're just going to keep walking around because it's going to be a smooth, slick surface, little pyramid we're going to build. And with the working stiff tools being straight in the middle of it. So, game, you might ask, how are we going to build this marvelous, perfect base that you are talking about? This is going to be the key. The wood frames, because they're going to be cheaper, because this is cheesing the AI, because the zombies shouldn't ideally attack the wall, we're going to be able to build this with wooden frames. We're going to upgrade, of course, to first or second level wood. But for the most part, we're going to use flagstone and wood. We're going to use a few of these, trying to find it here in the menu, but we're going to use a few different blocks. There's three main blocks that we're going to use for the main of the wall, and then we're going to use two other blocks for the corners because they have to be smooth. They have to be exactly smooth where the zombies will not get hung up on any of it. All right, so we're going to start on this side. We will start by laying down a few blocks. <sighs> Cowboy, we are closed, sir. We are closed. All right. There we go. Third time's a charm. Stay down, sir. Nah, there you go. Okay, like I was saying, we're going to start by pulling out the blocks just a little bit maybe five or six or so you want to stack them basically to where they're stairs because you're going to make a pyramid basically to the top you can really go out on these builds about four or five high um, i think three or four is the recommended that most people say four is perfect personally though i like to be extra safe and go five high that way in case there's a zombie dog a cheerleader right on top of him and then her friend on top of them they still cannot get to us. So we're going to go at least five out and see what that looks like. Maybe maybe six. Once we're done with the side, we're going to take this all the way down to make a wall connecting to the opposite side. If I can place my blocks correctly, might take me just a few minutes here, guys. We'll finish up the opposite side connect this all together this one should come a little bit easier 
little tip for you guys when you're building a base like this or when you're building any kind of base especially if it's bigger use the use the walls use the blocks use that to your advantage to kind of make your own scaffolding if you need to um, if you notice here sometimes it's hard for me to place the blocks so it's always a good thing to be able to jump up there place the extra blocks jump back down uh, you know just don't break a leg that's the big thing Ooh, a feather. Okay, so once we do that, because I'm OCD and I'm really wanting to make sure that this looks pretty good for the most part, I'm going to count and find the middle of this little plane and throw in another support column just to make sure that everything stays up like it should. another optional OCD. I'm going to count in the middle of these as well, just because it's about 10 or so wide and throw in just one more support column. We might not end up needing it, but that's the brilliant thing about this, guys. Use the wood blocks because you're gonna be able to pick them up later. Build your shell out of the wood blocks. Don't upgrade, don't add too much to it until you're 100% sure that that's what you're gonna need. If you guys notice in my build today, I'm gonna be putting blocks down down, taking them back all day long and if you do other blocks instead you're not going to be able to have that ability to just pick them up when you need them time to start upgrading all these blocks that we're throwing down let's grab a hammer or two the hammer is going to be the best thing that we have at least currently there's the hammer and then also the nail gun or you can just use your stone axe but the hammer just makes it i think it's two hits maybe three hits instead of four uh, so it's just a little bit better the nail gun is just one hit but you have to have nails and you have to have a nail gun which we don't on day five so Okay, so after a few attempts at this, I was definitely wrong with what I was attempting at first. So what you guys need to do is for this one, we are gonna use the wedge tip. In this case, flagstone, but you can use wood or whatever else you're doing, it doesn't matter. Uh, flagstone, just the cheapest. Now we want to make sure that we put this on face and then angle it down just like that. That's going to be the second layer. The first one, we're going to do just the regular wedge. In this case, again, flagstone. Once you rotate this around, you want to still put this on face, and that way it's going to face up against whatever's behind it, and it's going to make this steep incline perfect. Can barely walk up it, but zombies will not be able to walk up those. All right, as I sit here and exhaust all my stamina breaking up my mistakes, uh, guys, you know what they say, measure twice, cut once. We cut twice and measured once, and it didn't work out very well. Let's go grab some food because we are starving. All this work on the base is going to definitely give us a lot of hunger and thirst today.
while we sit here and mine that, I, I'm just looking at this. We we definitely went out a little too far. So hopefully you guys aren't building along with me um, because you guys might be a little pissed. Uh, we need to definitely bring this in a bit. Um, you know, right here, this is already just two blocks and it's really steep. We only need to do three more out of that and it's only too deep. So pick up some of these blocks. We're going to push it in a little bit and I'll go and break that down another time because my pick is starting to see better days. I'm, I'm a little sick of using it. I'm a little pick of using it. <laughs> Dad joke. So if you guys are having troubles with getting these to show up, make sure, number one, you're using the right block, but number two, you're doing it on face, and I find it's better to look forward at the item. Uh, that way it can, you can say on face to this one right behind you. It makes it just a little bit easier in my opinion. Once you have those first two layers done, rinse and repeat. Basically, you want to just keep repeating the same process where the incline and then the tip on top of the incline and just keep going all the way up until you're satisfied. Again, personally, I'm thinking five high, four high, almost everyone's going to say it's going to work for you. But if you do the four high, you could have issues, two different cheerleaders on top of each other, then they should, they could reach you if they're on top of their friend and they jump, they could reach you or random, you know, random swing here and there. And also zombie dogs are horrible and notorious for letting anybody climb on top of, if you get a zombie dog and then a cheerleader on top of that one, it's going to be a chaotic mess. back down now that we had to resize that a little bit and guys if you're doing something like this uh, along with me or doing something like this on your own just make sure that you know as we're putting these blocks up I'm gonna come over here we're gonna go ahead and do this probably two or three deep um, just to where we can start piling the blocks back up there just like we did on the other sides um, but remember, use frames or use, you know, rebar frames or these kind of frames, whatever you want to do, use some kind of frames to where you can go back through and pick these up later. You know, a little bit later, we'll go back in here and we'll go into the back side and we'll start picking up a lot of these frames that we don't need. Right now, we're just dumping frames um, just because, got to get this figured out on this side as well. 
just because we can start building off the frames and then we can always come back in and take away frames if you do actual blocks for instance flagstone blocks or something like that you've got to be a little bit more meticulous in when where you place these because we're not able to go back through and just pick those blocks up let me get rid of this and we'll keep going All right, so we finished framing that out, at least for now. Let's go back through and add our blocks member on face. And we want to add these all the way down. And then we'll add the next row of these as well. Then we'll change the shape and kind of see what we have. Uh, we are getting a little bit low on flagstone, but we should be able to finish most of this side of the wall. Okay, looks good. Now let's start filling this in with our flagstone. Remember, we want to change this to the incline wedge and make sure it's always on face. Otherwise, this is not going to look how it should, just like that. Okay, so now we do want to go ahead and upgrade the ones that we know we're going to keep for sure. This is going to help the stability, and we know this whole side we're going to keep just because that's going to help everything stay stable and make everything line up like it should. We're also going to jump up on top. We're going to do this walkway all the way down because we know this is going to be the top or possibly the top of what we want to build here. Because right now, guys, we are five high, and this should stop any zombies that come around. And so we want to be careful that we don't start pulling up too much here because we do have to worry about this other side so once we know you know this is going to be our side column but because we have that other side to come up we don't want to do too much building right there and here let's put some ladders that way we can go up on top of the roof and back down um, this little area i think we're actually going to just make kind of our you know a two or three wide you know kind of like a walkway kind of little area for us um we might just because I am a little crazy about having to jump at the appropriate times. Let's add an incline in here to where we can just walk straight up on the little catwalk that we have kind of built. And then we'll just build this out all the way down to be kind of a roof on the top. Um, and then leave the bottom open just in case we want to maybe have some storage or, you know, something like that. So we will kind of start working on a little roof slash walkway um, slash, you know, bottom area right here going all the way across. And then we'll go down there a little bit later and just pull up all the rest of the blocks that we don't need. Now, as always with any half-assed plan, let's start putting it in place. We'll upgrade all of these boards so that way we know this is what we want to do. And it looks it looks sick. It looks sick already. And we're getting plenty of experience and levels just from building. Building is a great way to level up. 
Okay, let's do some more ladders here because we're going to want to be able to get down if and when we need to. I think really this is going to be more for storage, um, but you know, it could just be kind of a little bunker area. Um, remember, if you guys are again are doing something similar to this along with me, uh, you want to make sure that your your side, your columns, they're going to be really supported. So in this case, I'm going to do three deep uh, just to make sure that's really supported. All these blocks, we, we don't even need. We don't even need almost all of these blocks because they're going to be supported by everything else. Um, one thing you do want to be careful of is go ahead and make these upgraded because these are right against that wall. So if the zombies happen to start swinging and break that wall, they have something else to hit and up against. You don't want to leave this completely open. You do want to at least do a little bit of a too deep, you know, for now we're going to do wood, but eventually we will upgrade all of this back here to be flagstone and then concrete and then eventually you know, stage two concrete, maybe steel. Um, you know, the this base isn't necessarily built for um, later on. You know, this isn't the day a day 80 horde base, but it'll do. You know, it's definitely going to do for right now. I'm going to build a little bit more support in here just to make sure because I'm a little extra cautious. You really do not need this, but again, I'm just kind of extra cautious, so I'm going to build a little bit extra support. And we need a little way through here to get to this other side. Okay, so I'm hearing a friend outside. It is important at this stage, because this is kind of open and not done, that we don't want any zombies messing around because they can easily take down these frames. So let's get up here, see if we can find this guy. Uh, is he over here? Uh, he's probably in the back. So yeah, he's already knocking on our support because right now this isn't, you know, this isn't built to be zombie proof. So we got to take this guy out, get him done, and hope he doesn't attract others. Come on. Come taste my spear. He did a little bit of damage. Not bad right now, but they will keep doing this until we get this built because they will get stopped on that. So let's just see what this looks like. I'll show you guys in action. It's always good to test before you actually get a horde. You know, I'm walking right now and I just walked up it and it was it was pretty hard, to be honest. Um, you have to run up these walls to make it really useful. But remember, the zombies cannot get up even if they're running on Horde Night. Break. Let's get some food because building and running all around, 
definitely gets us hungry definitely gets us thirsty um we do need more wood but i'm going to use up the rest of these frames real quick framing out the opposite side um just so i kind of have it up and then we'll start collecting a little bit of wood we might even collect some wood over the night um but just make sure that this makes it even because if we end up connecting it i don't think we'll do a full pyramid i think i want to do something different in the front but i don't remember how many we need to go out we need to go out okay so if we do something different in the front um we won't be connecting this so we want to still make sure that it's the same on both sides because i'm ocd and just in case we end up you know making it the same on all sides we'll have to do that so pretty soon we're gonna have to take a break and grab some more wood but for now let's finish framing up as much as we can Okay, and that looks good. So let's go ahead and start putting some of the flagstone up. You can do whichever one you want to do first. For some reason, I feel like the, the tips just seem like a better idea to start with first. Um, but you can do it in any order you want. We don't have many left, but let's get these put up here and see what we can do. Okay, that's about all we can do of those. Let's make a way in and let's start laying down a little bit more frames so that way we can keep adding to this. All right, so that is all of our cobblestone, all of our wood. Let's get a drink, some nice ice cold red tea, and let's pull out our ax and get to work. Got wood. that uh is that a backpack oh bloody satchel okay it's some water we'll scrap that that's worth something let's plant some trees uh, i see you over there mo uh we're we're not open just yet so uh go ahead and just die i appreciate it come on go down I missed, of course. There you go, buddy. Nope, stay down. Spear to the face will do it.
All right, now that we have some extra wood, let's start upgrading this because I don't want zombies to come by, um, especially in the middle of the night or when we're halfway through this, and just start breaking the blocks. Sure, they can still get through the wood. It's not that strong, but at least if they come up here, we're going to have this kind of open to where they'll walk around it, but also to where if they just take some random swings, they're not going to bring half of our wood frames down. It's just wood frames, but hey, it's our wood frames. Out of wood. All right. Cue another wood cutting montage. Now that is what we're going to call our own small personal forest. Let's see if we can grab this guy. Sneak shot. Oh. There's no getting up from that one, buddy. Okay, so that looks good. Let's start focusing on the back and... I really don't want to waste the resources and, and time and tools to break down this dumpster and all these things. So we're going to try to work around this. And this ladder, we'll probably go ahead and just use as the ladder. Um, that'll be fine. But for the most part, I don't want to waste resources or use resources to break this stuff down. Um, and honestly, I don't need all the extra space with having the sides. That's all I really need. So I'm thinking, let's just... Let's just work around the back and we're probably going to be focusing on the front more than anything anyways.
So that was the dinner bell for zombies. It is officially nighttime. We've done pretty much all we can do for today. This is a huge POI. I really thought we were going to get this done in a day, but, you know, I didn't have some of the wood resources, didn't have as much cobblestone as I wanted. Um, I really need to go down and start mining some more stone. That way we can get a lot more stone. But I hear somebody outside. Already, of course. Sounds like a couple of them, and they're hitting on something. Okay, so if, if they were just going to keep walking, it wouldn't have been a big deal, but if they're hitting on stuff, we want to make sure we get them. They're already coming to our front freaking door. They must have saw us when we were coming inside. No, don't break down our door. Let's upgrade this block real quick. We'll do a little bit of block trick. I don't want them breaking our door down. Um, it's not that crazy, but we'll just open it and say hello. Hello, feral ladies. And there's a few more coming around. You guys can all just come over here and line up. Okay, so it, it still sounds like they're beating on something. And if they're beating on something, that means they're breaking down what we did today. We've got to go out there even though it's in dark. Um, let me actually go ahead and turn up the gamma for you guys so you guys can actually see just a little bit better. And I can see a little bit better. Perfect. All right, let's get out there and see who thinks they can just break our stuff down. What are you doing? Who is it? Sounds like they just brought, broke some flagstone. Are they inside? Oh my god. What are you guys doing in here? We're closed. No hanky-panky inside my wall. Think you guys are teenagers? Just going and doing stuff wherever you find a place, huh? All right, looks like we're clear. Not seeing anybody else. Hopefully they didn't do too much damage. Ah, they made a window. Seriously, guys? Seriously? What do you think's gonna pay for this kind of stuff? God. Uh, we can't upgrade it to cobblestone, but that's okay. I don't hear anybody else. We'll block this off for now. I, I don't think this is gonna be a good idea necessarily, but maybe they'll funnel around to the other side if they if they get a chance to. I think I hear somebody. Where are you at? Okay, so we need to come down here, turn this off because I think that's what attracted the zombies except for our base building all day long. I'm going to take the stone out because I want this stone to be used for cobblestone. Um, cement takes stone. Okay, okay. But I think we really need to do a cement mixer because this is just going to give us cement, not cement mix. What is that? When did I get a battery? Oh my god, I've been taking apart a few cars today just randomly and I have a battery. This means that we have a mini bike. That's perfect. We're going to be able to do a mini bike, guys. That's awesome. But for now, we are going to end the episode here. Tomorrow, we will finish up our horde base and, well, our base base. We will finish up the base and we will find some other things to raid and make a little bit more of an interesting video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe to the video, comment if you guys want to see more. Peace.